Hey y'all, Brushermet here from IBM Engineering, and today we're going to talk about change management constraints for a baseline in IBM Engineering Lifecycle Management. First off, let's navigate into the baseline itself. To do that, go up to the top right hand corner of the screen, and if you are in a baseline, you'll see this option available to you. Click on this drop down menu, and then navigate over to the left hand corner of this menu right here. Right here, we can see it says local configuration. And just to let you guys know, there are two types of configuration. Streams, which are mutable, and baselines, which are immutable. Uh, what immutable here is meaning is that it freezes the state of artifacts at that current time. For this example, the current local configuration is a stream, and that's also indicated by this icon. And this really is the current state of work. So now let's go into this. I'll just click on that, and then this next little page will appear here. Here we can see all the different baselines affiliated with this, but what we're going to want to do is go up to this Details tab. Here we now are at our Change Management Constraints. There are two options for these constraints. The first one is Change Sets, and if this option is enabled, then changes may only be made to the requirements if they are encapsulated into a change set. Now, such changes will not be visible to the rest of the team until the change set is delivered. If this is disabled, then any authorized user may make edits directly to the requirements. Uh, it could be concurrently if you have other users as well, and any such changes are instantly visible to the rest of the team. Now, for the other option here, it is work items approvals. And if this option is enabled, then the delivery of change sets to the stream is controlled by the presence of a linked work item with the appropriate approvals. And one thing that I just want to reiterate here is that these are both options. And earlier on for your project, they may be disabled and all of the people that you have working on the project might be allowed to edit concurrently and pretty much change up whatever they want to. Uh, later on in the project, it might be a great idea to turn these two options on, but maybe you want them on from the beginning. It is entirely up to you and your organization. Thank you all for watching. If you all have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can find my contact information in the description below. Hope you have a great rest of your day.